Hi, I'm Patu from Brief and Cal, and in this video, let's look at some of the lessons uh, uh, learned from mutual fund investing. I had done a 10 year challenge video uh, a few weeks back that was more about life lessons and uh, about the entire portfolio, about how I, uh, how I, how it all started, uh, how I invested, and so on. Uh, this video will be specific to lessons from uh, or about mutual funds. So the first lesson I've learned is that uh, past performance matters, but does not matter as much as uh, we tend to think about it. We cannot choose. We uh, it's very difficult for us to choose a fund without any uh, uh, past performance, but uh, that alone is not a guarantee of success. Uh, and we must learn to review mutual fund uh, performance and take calls. Sometimes uh, even an NFO is okay if you can justify. Uh, why that should be added in your portfolio. For example, I I am an NFO investor in Parag Parag uh, long term value fund. At that time, there were there were no mid, uh, mid cap funds in my portfolio. So, it, I mean, it, it made sense for me to uh, buy that. It had international uh, diversification. I expected it uh, to lower risk a little bit in my portfolio and uh, and I think it has done, done its job. So, it, it I could justify uh, that purchase. And if you can justify it technically, uh, uh, then it's fine. What happens is people uh, look at all these advertisements or their bank relationship manager sends them a flyer or calls them and say there's this NFO start investing in it. Then they say is it a good idea. I mean other people should not be able to say whether it is a good idea to invest in a mutual fund. That is stupid. We must have a system and we must be able to justify whether investing in this NFO or any mutual fund is okay or not. Then it's okay. The, I think this is one of the most important uh, uh, revelations I've had. It is not possible to select the right kind of mutual fund. Of course, we know that it is not possible to choose the best mutual fund. It is also not possible to choose the right mutual fund. All these advisors and people like Money Life Foundation, they kind of they make uh, they make you uh, uh, get scared, saying, "Oh, look at all the huge range in returns between the worst performing fund and." best performing fund you have to learn how to choose the right mutual fund if you cannot do it let us do it for you uh, i have a post about i i, I say money life because i i wrote this a, a, a post with this title because of their flyer or because of their information uh, so it's simply not possible to find the right mutual fund you will have to no matter how much research you do no matter how much mathematics you employ you will finally have to take a chance invest in that fund review performance and make changes if necessary if you are if you do not have the guts to do it uh, then uh, don't invest in mutual funds please don't again the same thing uh, more or less review and uh, a mutual, reviewing a mutual fund is more important than selection today i have the confidence to select a mutual fund in 10 minutes or even less i just do in keeping keep on key and select I, I have a video on how you can uh, select a mutual fund in 30 minutes have a look at that uh, what is more important is to review performance with the benchmark and uh, from the date of investment. That's very important. So suppose I invest, I have to give three years for performance for the fund to outperform. And from the date in which I started investing, if the fund is doing well, I just let it go. I mean, there's no need to break our head too much about it. If it is not doing well, chuck it fully. Get rid of it fully and then invest in a new fund. Uh, uh, redeem all your units, push it to the new fund in one shot, then start investing in the new fund. Otherwise, your, your portfolio will start uh, getting bigger and bigger. Returns are not important. As my wealth grew and as I learned to do more and more of goal-based investing, I realized that what is you cannot eat returns. You cannot eat with returns. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you get 45% return or 25% return or just 2% returns. What matters is whether you have enough money for your future needs. So, if you... Change from your uh, change your perspective from target return or return expectation to target corpus, and uh, uh, modify your uh, asset allocation and your investing mentality towards that. I think it will be a lot more uh, you know saner. You'll be a lot. You can invest peacefully. I I have a I have a mentioned this in my audit posts. You can have a look at that. So. <laughs> SIP is not systematic investing. SIP will not make you disciplined. There's no strategy involved in SIP. It is merely automation. I would say there are a lot more benefits in manual investing 
and uh, force yourself to be disciplined and invest manually. Whenever I say manual investing, people automatically assume I am talking about timing the market. No, manual investing is not market timing. Every month, in the first week of the month, after you get your salary, within a few days, invest manually. It will take 30 seconds per fund and you do only need one fund. How? If you cannot, if you do not have the discipline to do this, if you say, I will forget, you do not deserve to get rich. As simple as that. Excuse me. What is the best way to build a diversified portfolio? This is one of the hard learned lesson. The best way to build a diversified portfolio is to choose one fund and stick to it. Have a one fund portfolio. Don't ask which fund. Let it be a large cap fund. Let it be a single multi cap fund. Let it be a uh, mid cap fund. This is the, our brains are all. Uh, if, you, if, if you choose a large cap fund, then people say, what about mid cap? What about, what about them? If, if you don't invest in them, what the heavens will fall? Nothing will happen. Just one fund is enough. If you are worried, choose a multi cap fund and you are done with it. That's it. That's it. Minimalism matters. This is one of the biggest lessons I've learned. I am still trying to rectify my portfolio and make it as small as possible. Of course, if your portfolio becomes large, let's say you have one crore, then you need two, three funds to kind of, uh, you don't want to keep all that money uh, in a single AMC. You want to diversify it. If you have 20 crores, you can have one crore in the same AMC. But if you have only one crore, then you don't want that one crore in the same AMC. So that is, so as you, uh, as your wealth grows, your uh, requirements will also keep changing. Star ratings are useless. The methods used are wrong. They are simplistic. They are plain wrong. I have talk, talked about it video after video after video or post after post after post. They are looking at a period in time in a window, uh, a window in time which is different from your investment period. Therefore, they will get a result which is different from yours. So, there is no point looking at star ratings once you start investing in a mutual fund. So, might as well not look at them at all. It's like blind man touching the uh, elephant. I, I just made a post on a video on this a few days ago. So, don't don't waste your time on, on star ratings. Now, what are you doing about star ratings? And please do not compare one fund with the other. This mentality of am I investing in the best fund? Am I missing out on returns if I don't invest in that fund? Oh, that fund's return seems to be better in the last six months. This sort of mentality will pull you down. Investing is a marathon and in a marathon you just need to finish. You do not need to win. You don't need to be that runner who keeps looking uh, at where, their comp uh, where his uh, or her competitors are. Finding out where your competitors are will not help you finish. It will only waste your time and energy. Focus on your goals. Focus on your portfolio. That is what will help you finish. Market timing is possible. Earlier, I had um, when I wrote this post for the first time, you can see the link below. Market timing, uh, I had believed that market timing was not possible, but I have shown myself that later on that market timing is possible, but I have also shown that market timing is not necessary. Therefore, uh, just goal-based risk management is enough and uh, therefore, uh, since it is not necessary, I don't need to time the market and I do not time the market. Uh, when I wrote for the post for the first time, I also thought that uh, index funds uh, uh, I mean, alpha alpha generation over index funds were possible, but that that, that viewpoint has also changed. So as time changes, uh, my opinions also change, and that's very important. You must be ready to change your opinion when the facts change. Stay away from popular funds. Another uh, lesson uh, I've learned from how uh, from watching other people. The moment people start talking about your fund or a, a, a particular fund they say oh invest in this fund invest in that fund that's a, that's a good fund that's a five star rated fund the moment the aum of any fund grows suddenly the fund manager struggles to uh, perform and i therefore i would stay away from such popular funds keep an eye on the aum uh, if you let's say you have a short list of funds and you are looking at whether you need to invest in them or not keep an eye on Keep an eye on whether the AUM is suddenly increasing month after month. If it is suddenly picking up, becoming 2x, 3x, 4x in a span of 4 or 5 months, I would say just get away from the fund. Pick funds which nobody is talking about, uh, which are like 3 star or 4 star at best rated funds, even 2 star rated funds. I have had 2 star rated funds several, for several years in my portfolio. 
I have not suffered at all. I think sometimes it be, even became one star. Who cares? I don't care. So just stay away from uh, from popular funds. Pick consistent performers, uh, which uh, which are away from the limelight, and you will be peaceful. And in investing, there's no right or wrong. There's no best or uh, not best. There's only gray. Everything has got multiple solutions. You have to choose a method, have the conviction, to stick to it, evaluate it. And if uh, if you uh, if your method has failed, you agree that it has failed and uh, dust yourself and move on. That's it. Regret. Uh, if you are if you are going to be in the capital markets, whether directly or uh, via mutual funds, regret has no place. You are going to lose money. You are going to make mistakes. You got to dust yourself off and get up and move on. That's it. That's that's my biggest uh, one of my biggest lessons over over this uh, course. Of Patience is very important. I'll show you. Uh, I had actually embedded uh, our PowerPoint video uh, into the. I'm sorry. I, I, I embedded a YouTube video into PowerPoint, but it doesn't play in Mac PowerPoint. So let me uh, head over to uh, YouTube to show you this. I had made this animation. Uh, you can. This is the gain or loss in my portfolio from June 19, 2008 to 25th May 2017. I, I had uh, since then published updated uh, pictures but I have not updated the video, it's painful. Just have a look at uh, how the gain or loss was. And you see people today complaining uh, uh, after 3 months, after 6 months and so on. You can see how the, that's the loss, you can see how deep the loss was. <coughs> And then it suddenly changed overnight, and that's how uh, equity uh, returns will uh, will be. It will it will there will be a drought for years and years, and suddenly it will pour, and then a drought. They see the drought drought here, and then it will pour, and then there is a drought, and so on. So that's how you you have to brace yourself for the journey. And when there is a sideways market, I kept uh, saying this. When there is a sideways market. Uh, that is the best time for you to keep pumping in money. I think we are currently in a sideways market. As long as your uh, goals are like 15, uh, 20 years away, this is the time to pump money into the equity market. But you should also learn to manage the risk as I have said in my other videos. So those are some of the lessons uh, from uh, investing in mutual funds. Uh, please share your lessons uh, in the comment section. If you have anything to say against or for me, go ahead and say it. Thank you as always for uh, Catch you later. Bye-bye.